Hello students, today we will continue our first chapter and the topic is language translators. Since a computer can understand only machine languages, so the program written in high level languages or assembly languages need to be converted into machine language. Language translators or language processors were developed to convert the language into machine language and check its syntax for errors. Programs written in high level language or assembly language are called the source code. Whereas the converted programs in machine language are called object code. There are three types of language translators. These are assembler compiler, interpreter, assembler. The assembler is a translator which translates the assembly language program into machine language code. Compiler. The compiler is a translator which converts high level language to machine language. The compiler also helps in checking the error while converting from high level language to machine language. It converts entire program in one go. The error report will be generated after compiling the whole code. Interpreter The interpreter is a translator which converts high level language to machine language. It translates the program line by line and reports the error or as soon as the error occurs during the translation process. It directly executes the operations mentioned in the source program if the input is given by the user. The error notification will occur as soon as the interpreter gets the first error. Difference between compiler and interpreter As compilation is done just once for converting the entire program, so a compiler converted the source code into object code faster than the interpreter. Let us see some more differences between the working of a compiler and an interpreter. Difference between compiler and interpreter. Compiler translates the complete program at one time. Interpreter translates whole program line by line, one line at time. Execution in compiler is faster. Execution in the interpreter is slower. The compiler needs more memory as it needs to store intermediate code. The interpreter needs less memory as no intermediate code is generated. Debugging is difficult because the error messages are displayed only after scanning the complete program. The interpreter stops the translation process as soon as it gets the first error, therefore debugging is easy in interpreter. The programming languages like C and C++ use compiler as a translator. The programming languages like Python and Basic use the interpreter as a translator. Thank you for listening. With this video, we will solve question answers and objectives of this chapter.